What's up, everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. My name is Rebel, and this is Miguel. He's going to be helping us out today with our tutorial. Miguel is in my COVID circle and just so happens to be like one of the best bladers ever. So I'm super excited that he's going to teach us today how to 360. Where? Oh, Bowie, you got so big. <laughs> I've been wanting to do 360s for like forever. So this is Okay. Okay. Oh god. Uh Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So I don't really I don't So really so you're spinning left and looking, you go backwards looking through the left or right shoulder? Um, I'm spinning to the left and... Your looking. natural your natural shoulder going My backwards? My natural shoulder going back is to is the Is that right. one. And you're yeah. spinning to the left. And I'm spinning to the left. And landing... <laughs> and I'm trying... Right, land, landing right shoulder landing. Trying to land... Right okay. shoulder. Yeah. All right. So that's a bless because it's the we we call it like short shoulder landing is because like you're looking through the same kind of position so you net in a quarter this is a, this is a 360 in a quarter pipe so it, it that's quite that's quite the make the, the way that you look into your shoulder the way that you spin and you look into your shoulder it makes the spin like feels like it's shorter but it's not it's still a 360 it's just a short shoulder landing so right now like the Easiest way to like, uh, there's gonna be like a couple steps, but in the beginning one or two, so you don't get lost while you're spinning, is to come in an angle. It's to, just to get familiar with the spin of going up and down in a three, seat, three seat position. You can use like a, like a, in an angle, so it's not a full three. So you come in an angle and you go, pop, and you keep your shoulder to your landing. So I'm talking about spinning to the left and keeping my eyes on my right shoulder right so it makes that you finding the trail but you want to look at the ramp you don't oh, want you yeah. don't want to you don't want to take you don't want to take off like this because you don't see what's coming you stay in your natural stagger okay looking where you're going and as you're in your in your point of pivoting you're looking at the ramp and you're dropping your shoulder so it's kind of like a, a cheat to a 360. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like almost like a 270. So, pop, and look down. All right. Now a little less of a motion. Head straight. Start the spin and look down. So normal, normal, normal skating. Then you start pivoting your body and look, spot your landing basically down. Oh, okay. So look at the ramp, and then as soon as I'm like turning, that's when I look back. Yeah. Okay. Roll. Kinda. You you kind of you kind of you kind of you kind of doing this right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little less. It's it's that's harder. It's easier. It's like this. And you stay there. Okay. You going? Stay down. There you go. Not that bad. Better. Better. All right. Now try to now try to do like more like this to here, very gentle down there, almost like a 180. There you go, very good, All right? You're gonna, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel like a rush when you go back, like boom, powerful. Yeah. The way to save yourself is more like a squatting and standing up. So bend your knees, do a little 180, and absorb it and roll away. So absorb your landing so it's not so rush. And look yeah. down, yeah, very gentle, oh, right? Good. And uh, it doesn't feel like I'm doing a 360. Yeah, because your your neck, your head right now is just doing like a like a 180 turn, but it's a 360 because you're going from here oh, yeah. to here. But your shoulders are short cutting. In my 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 situation is like this. I spin that way, but I look about the other shoulder, so it feels it looks more like this. See, it feels longer, but it's all an illusion of my shoulders, uh, <laughs> you know? Okay. 
So right now you're doing perfectly. Just now try to work on like making sure you, you feel comfortable. Like for people that want to, want to try it, make sure to learn how to do this first on the floor. So you know how to take off, you know? So if you have that dial, 360 is like you are doing, it's gonna be great, All right? So now we're bringing, we're translating that here in an angle like this. You can roll away. All right, very gentle. All right, try to go faster a little bit. Don't rush so much to go over the, it's scarier, but actually it's easier. Uh -huh. But just work your process, you break it down slowly. So just come in a little bit more speed this time. Feel the ramp, then make the turn, <laughs> you know? Feel a little bit of the ramp, feel the ramp. Oh, All right. Hold it. It's all right, it's all right. It's a process, it's learning, that's a process. It's great. All right, don't worry. Re readjust it, don't worry. Remember, tuck your knees up. Not bad, not bad. All right. Now, you kind of break, just keep playing with that so you can break it down a little bit. You start feeling very stable. And when you just keep playing with it. Okay. It's no rush. Right, yeah. Make it feel very comfortable and natural. Okay. And your knees. Nice, looking very comfortable. Yeah, All right. Better, yeah. So when you start feeling comfortable in the thing, in, in the in the turn, you want to do more like a setup, like a, in in vertical ramps we call it setup airs. So it's when you go towards the the transition that you want to do the trick and set set yourself comfortably. So you kind of like, all right, boom, this is this place. So you come back, you set up air again, and then you do it. So it's like this. So, all right, I'm setting up. This is where my, my position. I pump, and I come, and I know I'm going to do it now. You see, I, I go up and down to set myself comfortably. Set up, another set up turn. And now I know I roll in a turn. So you kind of like, don't rush or going so high. Make a goal. Make a goal of your mind, like you did it here, mm -hmm. now to the next screw. <laughs> okay. You know, you work your way. Yeah. Right now, you already did it here. So aim for this area right here. And I'm trying to make it like narrow. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the better you get, the more straight up and that you want to do it. So it becomes more like a spin. Right now, we work on it basically on a, on a 270 position. Now we're kind of closing the angle. It's up mm -hmm. to you. You can keep going a little bit sideways. So okay. Just play with it. Set up, that's your spot. Pump gently, pump hard, relax, feel the ramp. Nice, it look even better and it feels kind of more natural because the ramp kind of helps you. Bend your knees, gently, pump, feel the ramp. Nice, very good. It took me like 20 years to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, perfectly. Let's nice. feel the ram. You kind of play with it. You feel it. Like you feel the ram. Nice. I Re feel like I need to lift up my knees more. Yeah, tuck your knees almost to your chest so you have more room for spinning. And I like take off. Punk. <laughs> Very good. I, I, will, I will show you one and kind of pay attention okay. to what I do with like how right now you want you said you just said that you kind of having problem with this area here. So pay attention to my my knees. And here, how I kind of take it up towards me. So you can kind of like simulate. Um, I will keep doing your, your spin your way. All right. Mm -hmm. And when you see it, I want to do it the opposite way so it looks like your shoulder landing. See how I just go. And then the higher, the more comfortable it gets. I can't seem to get my feet to like pick up. Yeah, yeah, just like imagine them there together. Ooh, that's great. great nice, nice. Like, I, I feel comfortable now, kind of like aim a little bit. I think it's going to be a good spot right here. Okay. Play with that area, remember? It's going to be a little bit rushed to so absorb your landing to save yourself. Very gentle. Nice, nice. All right, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one more tip of something that I, you're breaking it you're breaking it up perfectly really good now I see you're hesitating for the spin kind of early and that's not bad but sometimes create a bad habit of like you wanted to spin before you actually fill the ramp yeah. and that can throw you kind of in or throw you to weird areas so a gentle comfortable 360 is basically this your body position is almost like in air so if you're gonna try 360s make sure you know how to like turn 180 it's very comfortable like an air right because that's like a good stance so right now you're already breaking it down nicely so now you want to set yourself in a way where you actually make a normal turn see feel the ramp see that that and you kind of want to do the same thing roll and then you turn so basically you like that the, the takeoff is just like an like a turn but then bring your short shoulder that you just did. Oh, okay. Are you kind of breaking? <laughs> Feel the ramp. So like turn, do a little air. Yeah, comfortably. Do another one, and do it. Nice. All right. Break it down. Relax. Relax. Set up air comfortably. Set up air comfortably. Feel the ramp, and let go. Nice. Very good. Safe. And. It's good that you fall. If you don't fall like that, you're not gonna learn it because you wanna learn how to eject a 360. Because when you get really good at air in 360s, there's gonna be a moment when you're like airing seven feet in the air. And if you were, before you were, went seven feet, you didn't experience that motion, it's not, you're not gonna save yourself up there. You're yeah. gonna die. So <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same eject one feet of the ramp, that seven feet of the ramp. You have to learn that mechanic. It's not the same, but it's the same action. So it's really good that you fall. You have to touch the floor you know it's a, it only gets you better that's yeah. a lesson ejecting and falling in the ground that's like a it's a safe thing you know yeah. <laughs> so you saw how you were setting up uh -huh. so now create a habit of like before you go to a quarter pipe or a, a vert ram or mini ram before you throw your first 360 feel the transition in a turn that you did because that because every transition is almost is kind of different so it kicks a little bit different so if you go to a ramp first and just like feel those turns you know feel those turns oh that's the kick oh that's the kick okay i feel this is this is how this ramp kicks all right so that's now i just go and do the same and turn it you know never go to a ramp for the first time and be like, all right 360 go, you're gonna throw your wheel you want to do your setup airs and then okay so much sense yeah yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna feel a little bit easier and easier. <laughs> it's weird at the first, but then it's just like I hope that kind of works. It kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, I think I that makes know. sense. I feel like that was really awesome. That everybody, was so helpful. Yeah, everybody learned the six is different, like I said. Like in your case, you are spinning left and you're landing right shoulder. Mm -hmm. So that's not everybody does the same way. If you can learn it like that, good. Some of us for me, for example, I don't land right shoulder landing. I mean, left, le uh, right shoulder landing, I land left. So my turns are a little bit different, but that's okay, you know? You can you just work on it, it's the same thing. But you know, unless you wanna do it to the right side and land on your natural shoulder. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's the, the short shoulder landing, yeah. you know? <laughs> You can go alley -oop, you can go, it's a big world out there. It's a big world. Yeah, this is just the beginning of it. Yeah. Y'all, <laughs> super stoked. My mind is blown, but yeah. yeah Thank it, you so it, much. Yeah, you're very welcome. It feels like, it, if, if some people will say, it doesn't feel like a 360, but you really look at it in a flat ramp, you're going, it's a 360, it's just like a short shoulder landing. You know, and it goes also for jumping in, out, in and out of things. You do a 540s and, it's very about magical. Those little cheats. Yeah, it's a very magic. It's like magic. The magic 360. Yeah, everything's magical. They say magic is cheating, but if you believe it, it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <Ooh. laughs> awesome. Yeah, enjoy well, that 360. Yeah. Yeah, do 360s. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Queer Girl Street Skates. Thank you so much, Miguel, for helping us out. You're I feel welcome. like my mind is blown. I totally never would have thought to do 360s that way. I honestly thought that that was something I would never be able to achieve. So I'm super stoked right now. Um, tell me in the comments if you try this, if it works for you. And um, tell me if there are other things that y'all want Miguel to teach you since COVID. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to support me, you can go onto my Etsy and buy some cool stuff or become a Patreon. And most importantly, cheers to the queers! <laughs> Woo! There's a donkey.